So now that I've got all my parts for my gaming PC, am I ready to go? Yeah, pretty much. Now we just have to assemble it. First, remove your motherboard from the packaging and place it on the box for a static-free surface to work with. Next, install the CPU and RAM sticks into the appropriate slots, and you can even install your AIO cooler block if you have one as well. To prepare your case and PSU for your build, install the PSU, and you can even pre-route the CPU and motherboard cables to save some effort. If your motherboard has an I.O. shield, install it now. And make sure the motherboard standing screws are in the appropriate location for your motherboard size. Next, you can install your motherboard into the PC case by lining it up with the I.O. shield and screwing it down. Next, you can install the radiator for your AIO cooler if you have one. The next step is installing any storage that you might have, whether it be in an M.2 slot or SATA, and plug in the power and SATA cables. Now, you can install the graphics card into the PCIe slot in your motherboard and make sure to fasten it in place with your case's expansion slots. Finally, plug the power cables from the power supply into all the appropriate ports on your components and you're ready to go. And now, you've got a finished build. This one that we've built today features Intel's Z590 platform, which is a great option for gaming, streaming, and productivity. Well, thanks so much for the help. I can't wait to take it home. <laughs> Looks like Steve-O couldn't wait to take it home himself.